RT's Polly Boyko is in Brussels for us. Cities on lockdown, and we know that police raids are ongoing. This is very much a ongoing situation. We've just had reports that police have reportedly arrested three people linked to today's attacks, and uh, there have been raids carried out in a northern suburb of Brussels called Charbeek. Um, the prosecutor's office hasn't uh, given away too many details because they say it's a you know they have to keep security tight, and this is an ongoing operation. But they have confirmed that. They found uh, a nail bomb, they found chemicals that could be used to make an explosive and an ISIL flag in uh, one of the apartments where they carried out these raids. Interestingly, uh, last week when raids were taking place uh, connected to the November Paris attacks, they also found uh, explosives and an ISIS flag here in Brussels. Now, there are also reports of um, a changing situation outside the Brussels airport where those attacks took place earlier this morning. The security there had been uh, somewhat uh, relaxed after an initial security sweep in the afternoon, but now it's back to full on. We're hearing reports that there's been a suspicious package found there and security has been uh, jacked up once again. So uh, an eerie atmosphere here, really. Um, the European headquarters here, have, uh, they've been evacuated. People have been told to stay home. It's the top terror alert for this city. Um, it's really on lockdown, apart from the journalists and the occasional uh, security and police cars whizzing through the city. Uh, it's like a ghost town, really.